There we go, Mr. David Mares. Entre más lejos me vaya. Ajá. Uh -huh. Man, I gotta slow that down when I say that. Entre más lejos me vaya. Entre más lejos me vaya. Man, I sing like David Mares. Double R Radio sponsor Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez is going. Don't even think about it, Robert. Okay, I want I want I got you. Anyway, good morning, Double R Old School Internet Radio, Tuesday morning, September the 13th, 2022, 10, 11, por la mañana. Here we are, man, almost halfway through September. Crazy, right? It really, really is live on Facebook. Stop by and say hello, and I'll say hello back, and all that other good stuff. Good morning, shout out again to my amiga, Rosemary Romero. He said, good morning, Robert Rivas. Good morning, Rosemary. Hopefully, you have an awesome, awesome day. Anyways, um, you know, um, ever since the queen died, that's all you see on TV. The queen this, the queen that, here a queen, there a queen, dairy queen, Burger King. I mean, that's all you hear. The queen this, queen that, and, and uh, all, you know, all this. I mean, I get it. She's royalty. I get it. I get all that. I'm just saying, man. Por favor. Good morning, John. I'm going to have double R radio sponsor, Cindy Martinez Hernandez, San Antonio, Texas. He said, hola. Anyway, speaking of the queen, check this out. You know, for all the jewelry and everything that um, that the queen wears, well, they're claiming that the queen could be buried with just two pieces of jewelry. Huh. That's weird, right? With all the jewelry, all the diamonds and everything, they're claiming that they she just might be buried with two pieces of jewelry. What happened to the rest of it? Probably in the pawn shop. I don't know. Well, anyways, that's the... According to a news report, she will be buried with only two pieces of jewelry. <sighs> On a side note, they say the queen had over 300 items in her private jewelry collection, including five pendants, 15 rings, 14 watches, 46 necklaces, 34 pairs of earrings, 98 brooches, brooches? Brooches, B-R-O-O-C-H. You know what I'm talking about. So anyways, uh, but she doesn't want to take anything with her. I got a runny nose. What's going on here? There we go. A little bit better. So anyways, uh, more power to the queen. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't get it. Anyways, uh, <laughs> you know, I got to tell you all that uh, Saturday I had to go back to Home Depot. I've been trying to work on my faucet where the water wasn't coming out the way it should. I was trying to get a proper uh, faucet part where the water would come out better. Well, I went to Home Depot, and as usual, everybody seems to think I'm a handyman. I'm telling you, man, all the girls go crazy when I go in there. I'm going in there, and uh, <laughs> for some reason, this girl thought I was a plumber. She came up to me and she goes, hi, are you a handyman? And I said, yes, I am. And she goes, I'm looking for a pipe. I said, what the hell? Isn't this a family store? Looking for a pipe? She goes, yeah, I'm looking for a pipe for the drain underneath my sink. And I go, yeah, I bet you're looking for a pipe for underneath your sink. Well, anyways, I said, no, no, I'm not a handyman. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. I want nothing to do with this. <laughs> Went in there, and I, I'm telling you, man, I feel so cool walking in there, man, because it's kind of like I feel like a handyman, un carpintero, a painter, you know, one of these blue-collar workers, man. Really, man, I go in there, and I buy a little faucet for $3.96, little, little part, and I'm walking around there, throw a chingon and everything. Por favor. Anyways, um, you know, yesterday I was driving around doing the Uber thing. It was around 5, 5.30, and my car gave me alert. And I go, what the hell? And I look at my car's little, you know, dashboard thing, and it says, you have a low tire. And I go, oh, man, that's the last thing I need is a low tire. Right? So um, I was driving a passenger, and uh, he happened to be a lawyer who didn't tip. <laughs> well, anyways, um, he took a look at the tire. He goes, I don't see an L in it, but it doesn't mean it doesn't have one. So I went to Discount Tire right across the highway, man. It was very, very convenient. Went over there, they took a look at my car. Check this out. On the tire that was low, they couldn't find a nail. But on the tire behind the tire that was low, they found two nails. Only they weren't leaking. How crazy is that, right? 
So anyways, I went ahead and got their warranty and they fixed my tires and everything. And I really get a kick out of their slogan at Discount Tire. Really, man, after I paid and we took care of business and everything, I noticed they were telling each and every customer after they paid or whatever, they would always say, thank you and have a good year. What kind of crap is that all about? Please, that's my line when I used to work at a tire shop. Anyways, um... <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget one time I was working at a tire shop and a girl came up to me and she goes, do you have any white walls? I go, no, in my house I've got, uh, they're, they're blue, uh, they're kind of beige, uh, but no white walls. I, I got no white walls. And she goes, you're not funny. And she walked off. So like, obviously she didn't think I was funny whatsoever. Um, you know, I went to Paisano's Italian restaurant Saturday night. And I love Paisanos, man. They got that shrimp Paisano. But even more so, um, every time I go in there, I spend at least $100. Done deal. Two or three drinky poos, right? And, you know, getting the main course and everything. But, you know, um, I get a kick out of people. I see people ordering bottles of wine. I'm not a wine person. I'm, You know, I don't mind a glass of wine. Don't get me wrong, but I'm a simple person. Tell me, Robert, what do you think is a good bottle of wine? I go, I, I wouldn't know. I don't I don't know how wine bottles work. You know, the year, uh, red wine, dry wine, right? I, I don't know any of that. All I know is Tickle Pink, Boone's Farm Tickle Pink, and uh, MD 2020. Those are about the only two that I know. But I really, I mean, I like when I see a person order a bottle of wine, the guy brings it, he opens it up, right, and then he pours it all elegantly, right, and, <laughs> and I was like, I wonder how much they're paying for that bottle of wine, man, really, man, but it can be pretty expensive bottles of wine. Really, man, and uh, like I said, I don't know anything about wine, maybe uh, White Ziffendale, I like that, that's pretty cool. But uh, like I said, I'm a really ham and nigger kind of a person. And even more so, I went to an Italian restaurant and I had seafood at an Italian restaurant. Good morning, Chad. I got the double R radio sponsor, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas. Good morning, amiga. How about them, Astros? Also, good morning, Chad. I got the Maru Flores. Good morning. So um, I ordered this plate called, it's a seafood plate, fish called Orange Ruffy. No lie, Orange Ruffy. And uh, at first I thought it said Orange Muffy. And I go, hey, 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 what kind of plate is this? No, but it's Orange Ruffy, right? And uh, it comes on, on, on with some pasta on the side. And I said, you know, I'll try that. I'm going to try something different. So I got Orange Ruffy. And I'm going to tell you, man, that fish was fresh. I mean, it was so fresh, it was still kicking. <laughs> so, hey, settle the hell down. I'm trying to eat you. Kind of reminded me of my prom date, but we're not going to go there. So the fish kept on kicking, man. So anyways, as the no tartar sauce, none of the above. You eat it the way it is. That way you can enjoy the flavor of the fish. And it was excellent. It really, really was. Now, speaking of that, now let me see here. How much time do I got? I got a little bit of time. Um, I happened to go to a nail salon Saturday. I walked in there. And right away, this oriental lady goes, oh, you you want nail done? And I go, no, 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 I know nail done. No, no, we got special. We got special for macho men like you. And I go, no, no, man, I'm not here to get my nails done. She goes, no, no, no. Do you know that 80% of men in the United States get nail done? Uh, no, but I do know that 80% of men in the United States like to get nailed. That, that, that I do now, but I don't know about nails being done. She goes, no, 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 you enjoy. I give you 50% discount. Oh, uh, really? 50% discount, huh? She goes, 50% discount. Are you going to throw in any food or anything? She goes, yeah, I throw in lemon chicken, fried rice, egg roll, egg drop soup. D, I throw it in. I go, really? So while I'm getting my nails done, you'll give me lemon chicken, egg roll, fried rice, egg drop soup, tea while I'm eating? You do my, yeah, we do everything here. And I said, I bet you do. Well, anyways, I thought about it and I said, I can't be in here. She goes, don't be so macho. Don't be so macho. Men do it all the time. And I go, nah. No, I said, no, no, I mean, I said, ma'am, no self-respecting Bato Loco could ever get caught in a nail salon. 
She goes, oh, you, you, you vato loco. And I go, yeah, vato loco, I vato loco. There you go. Goes, oh, I understand. I give you 75% off. And I, no, man, no. I throw in two egg roll. No, no, no. So I walked out of there and there you go. But they were really trying to sell me. Really trying to sell me. I'm, I'm getting me. I'm getting my nails done. I said, my nails are nice. I, I don't need them. my nails. My nails are good to go. But I got to tell you, man, she almost sold me. She almost did. Good morning, Shala. Good after my prima. Irene Gaiona, he said, good morning, primo. Good morning, prima. Hopefully, you're having a good one. Let's keep it going. Let us something by Earth, Wind, and Fire. Good morning. How we doing, everybody? Uh, Tuesday morning. Here we are, September the 13th, 2022. YouTube viewers, buenos dias today. Pen said, yeah, did. You're probably going, Robert, what the hell's going on back there? Uh, by the way, that's the, the Pearl. The Pearl right here in downtown San Antonio. Taking a little tour of the Pearl right there. It's all good. Let's get back to the morning show. YouTube viewers, be sure to subscribe if you haven't by now. Morning show time. Orale. Let me see. I don't want to mess anybody. We're good. We're good. We're good. Morning show time. 